The Kenya Studios is a production house solely determined to offer you substantially quality precise services. We are brim equipped to offer film production including movies, documentaries and advertisements, photography and photo mounting, live streaming, events, feature story and music videos, graphic design and printing, voiceovers and DJ and sound services. To access any of our services, reach us at Mze Kenya Studios on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and subscribe to our two YouTube channels. You can also email us at mzekenyastudios at gmail.com or call us on 0782-566-698. Mze Kenya Studios. Substantial quality precision. ndaa kwenda kulilax mahali nasoma soma kidogo na na kitabu yangu ile leading material natafuta mahali quiet silent na relax nitakai kusumbuliwa na anything so nakaa na kitabu yangu mahali quiet nasikia tu ndege zikichip kidogo na nasoma kitu kama about 2 2 hours 2 hours and a half alafu na leo naefunga kitabu naenda zangu nyumbani ajitayarisha kwenda shughuli zingine. Kusoma ni kitu ya maana sana. Inakulilax ina unasahau mambo pleasures za job. Unasahau pleasures za kama wiki mzima, una relax your mind. Hakuna simu, hakuna anything, you just relax. Una, una unasikia mwili yako ime ime relax mzuri and still you you gain some knowledge when unasoma anything, any leading material. It's a very weak, very good way of unwinding. Now, as I advise watu, wakati during your leisure time, uh, wache kuenda kufanya mabo zingine za, za kujiharibu. Just relax somewhere, usome, ama uende exercise, a walk, unajog, unateke a stroll. It will help you health-wise and mabo zingine mingi za mwili. Uh, my favorite uh, um, authors, uh, moja ni John Grisham, uh, ni kona wengine kama G. Froyasha, na nasomaga African Lighter Steel, uh, akina Ngogo wa Diongo, Chini wa Chembe, Wale Soinka, hizo audio, na pia kuna motivational books, nasomaga zingine kama za... Um, nitakumbuka sijui kama nitakumbuka niko na nyingi sana eh nasomaga in motivational books yeah and still there are times you just go and listen to cool music yeah una relax tu na kamuziki kidogo tu especially blues hakuna hakuna kusumbuka mtu anakusumbua no font calls no nothing so i would advise mtu badala ya kwenda unaengage una na mambo zingine za kuharibu mwili kama ati unaenda kwa ba unaenda kufanya nini just yes, exercise unaweza chukua hata bike una light unazunguka tu it will help your body it will help your mind yeah kesho ukienda job unaamka ukiwa fresh yeah. what makes me love my hobby ya kusoma because I know for one thing, kusoma, masomo haishi. Every day, on every time, make it a learning moment. Uwe unasoma, una, unakoya kitu mweni. Siyo ati unasoma tiyo sababu kuna mutuhani. You don't necessarily lead to pass the exam. Huh? You lead and learn to acquire knowledge. Yeah? You know how to, to relate with the people, you know. Mambo mingi ya sana ya maisha. When it comes to investing, especially to the youth, once you start earning, it, I would advise 
although that is my view, I would advise you start with uh, getting a home, getting a home, because I believe, to me I believe it is easier to acquire a car than to acquire a, a good house, you know, a home, though a home is made of family, and, but to acquire a good house, it is an extra, it's an effort. Uh, because uh, in most cases, lad does not uh, uh, depreciate, it appreciates. See, so like, uh, gali, gali ni asset. Like in it is, a, is an asset to, to the bank. Actually, to you, it's a liability. Yeah, because in a tumia, it's a commercial vehicle, but in most cases, people buy these personal vehicles for luxury. Yeah? Yeah. I would advise you to start with a home and investment before you get to, to own a car. Kama uko na ambition ya ya kuwa na biashara kubwa, uh, you need to lean first. Ile kitu ile faida unapata una lean first kwa biashara yako. Alafu you are, you get into good books with uh, wale watu wanaweza kukufuata. Si nilikwambia biashara uh, hawa monetary institutions, financial institutions, hawawezi kukupea pesa ya kwenda kuanzisha biashara. So you need to prove to them yuko na a biashara in a land ile kitu imekosekana ni funds za kuifanya kubwa, kui boost. So you need to be in, in good books with financial leaders. Eh, ukitengeneza nini na sako, una safe na sako, wata wanaweza kukupea pesa ya kuboost biashara yako. Ukianzisha biashara it is good kama hujawahi ifanya uh, ni mzuri kufanya kali search kidogo ufanye kali search ya kujua hizi vitu hii duka huyu mwenye anailani anapataga vitu zake wapi za kuuza anaziendea namna gani ya yeah? zina cost aje anauza at place gani hoze margin Di, nini profit margin ya vitu zake ita afford kulinilipia bill yangu ya nyumba nini nini na maisha yangu ukifanya hivyo uone ile town ako ama unataka kufungua hii endi hivyo then go look for somewhere else ama ufanye biashara nyingine sababu uh, to start with isipokuwa una ni saving zako unatumia you put in a list sababu biashara ni ku list kitu usiende kubolo mani u start a business especially a business hujui sababu umeona mtu mwingine anaifanya hiyo hiyo si mzuri ile kitu naweza advise mtu mwenye anataka kufungua biashara first thing i would recommend uh, kabla afungue kama itawezekana afadhali hata ajitolee volunteering eh? aende kwa biashara fulani afanye kazi hapo alan I learn the loops kama yuko ndani kwa hiyo biashara kitabu uende ukafungue yako yeah otherwise ukitoka tu shule unafungua biashara unajua uwezi enda kufungua biashara ati ni wewe uko peke yako kwa field kuna watu wengine kuna old guards kwa hiyo field eh? na huwezi competition yao so eh, enda kwa mtu fulani ako na hiyo biashara biashara kama hiyo ina learn akufundishe Utafanya kazi kwake aidha kuajiri low pesa kidogo na bado una unasoma. Immediately you get your own experience utajua where do I get uh, the items the commodities to sell who are the customers what is a strategic place kuweka biashara things kama hizo. Mi kwa mka yangu na mka normally na mka 6 6 I do my normal whatever nyumbani uh, by 7 by 7 natoka nyumbani siishi bali kwa hivyo by 7:30 na kuwa kazini nimefungua nimeosha I'm ready by 8 I'm na kuwa ready juu sitaki customer wanipata nikiosha 
So it always got the face of customer kupata ume umemaliza mambo yako umefungua mlango kuliko customer imekuja na kupata dio una unaosha unapanguza ya yeah, nikija na panga panga naosha na kaa sasa nachukua vitabu zangu na jiset na angalia record za jana na ngojea customer mpaka 8:30 nafunga gajioni kabisa 8:30 na ngojea naenda nyumbani na ngojea the next day Thank <laughs> you.